Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have b is equals to b minus b divided by b and we solve this problem for all the values of b. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards the solution of this problem from first method and here uh, in first method you see here this b and b are cancelled out by each other and we get the remaining values are b is equals to b minus 1 and here I can first explain the reason why we solve this problem for two methods. Uh, so the reason is that if in your exam, the question statement is that you need to find the roots or you need to find the values of P. So in that case, you need to solve this problem from first method because um, if you see directly in the question statement, you cannot easily get the value of B. So here I can just give you a nice technique in which you can easily get the value of B from first method. But if in your exam, the question statement is that uh, you need to determine the solution set of the given equation. So in that case, you just directly move towards our second method and uh, we directly uh, tells us about the solution set. So here first we need to find the values of B. So for this, we need to take squaring on both of the sides. So when we apply squaring, it will be written as B square equals to B minus one whole square. And further in the next step, we move this b square to the right hand side and it will be written as b minus 1 whole square. This is positive term. When we move it into the right hand side, it will become negative and this whole equation is equal to 0. And here uh, we use uh, the nice algebraic formula. You know about that if we have x square minus y square is equal to x minus y times of x plus y and you see here the base of this term is our x and the base of this term is our y so after applying this formula to the above equation uh, so that our above equation is written as in this form so first you have x minus y the value of x is b minus 1 minus the value of y is b into x plus y the value of x is b minus 1 plus the value of y is b and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need more simplifications and you see here this is minus b and plus b are cancelled out by each other and we obtain here minus 1 into this is b plus b becomes 2b minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here uh, we multiply uh, this minus 2 minus 1 on both of these two terms and it will becomes minus 2b and plus 1 because this is minus times minus becomes plus and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we move minus 2b to the right hand side and it will be written as 1 is equals to 2b Further, uh, we need to solve this problem for the values of uh, b so that we need to remove this 2 from here and now we divide both of the sides by 2 in order to find the values of 2, values of b. So now you see here this 2 and 2 are gone and we obtain our b is equals to 1 divided by 2. So this is the value of b which we get here in the first method. So in the next step we need to verify that is this value of b be the solution or is this value of b be the extraneous root so for verification of this value we need to copy down given question statement here it is b equals to b minus b divided by b and here uh, we need to substitute the above value of b on both of the sides and when we put it into the left hand side it will be written as 1 over 2 is equals to when we put it here it will becomes 1 over 2 minus this b and b are gone and here we get only 1 okay so here we need to take the lcm into the right hand side and we obtain its lcm becomes 2 this 2 and 2 are gone and we get here 1 minus 2 
and here we get this is 1 over 2 and this case is implies that 1 over 2 is equals to 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1 over 2 and here you clearly see that our left hand side is positive and right hand side is negative so this means that both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal this means that the value of b equals to 1 over 2 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call that b equals to 1 over 2 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and we finally conclude about the solution set of this problem is that this question has no solution so this is the, our final conclusion of the uh, this problem from first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem uh, from second method so in second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is b equals to b minus b divided by b this is the our given question statement and here our second method be the quick method and here we quickly determine the solution set of this problem and now you see here this b and b are gone and we get here our b is equals to b minus 1 further we move this b to the left hand side and it will become this is positive term when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative and this is equals to minus 1 further you see here b minus b becomes 0 equals to minus 1 and this is not possible in our other you see here we cannot get any value of b which is satisfied our given question statement so we finally conclude about that this question has no solution so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos